Trials Frontier wastes no time in getting you into the action. There's no title screen when you load up the app. Instead, the game begins with an on-screen prompt showing you how to start your engine. Before we'd even seen the title card, we were scudding along the 2.5D path towards an explosive finale. The game's first three tracks lay out all the controls. Your right thumb controls acceleration, while your left thumb manipulates your rider's center of gravity, letting you flip and jump the digital daredevil around obstacles. Veterans of trials on the PC and Xbox will feel right at home with the touchscreen controls. The major downside is the replacement of analog subtleties with binary buttons, meaning you can no longer ease off the gas on trickier slopes. Luckily, developer Redlinks knows exactly how its game is meant to feel, and has designed tracks that complement these new inputs. Rather than being a purely stage-based stunt racer, Frontier actually features a story. You crash your bike while exploring, and awaken in a steampunk-inspired Wild West. With your bike destroyed, you have to borrow one from the people of the town. To repay their kindness, you set about undertaking missions for them. This adds some structure, while also providing an excuse to reuse many of the short tracks. The story also provides the framework for Frontier's free-to-play elements. You can earn gems and money from the townsfolk, allowing you to upgrade your rickety new ride, or obtain more fuel to provide the energy required to race. Naturally, each of these commodities can be bought through in-app purchases. However, we only encountered a few occasions when the cooldown timers dramatically interrupted play. While some will protest the very notion of a free-to-play version of Trials, in truth, we've seen far more restrictive implementations of the model than what we found here. From a purely physical perspective, Trials Frontier is a brilliant translation of the Trials series. The control system does a great job of capturing the feel of the franchise, and the free-to-play system will only interrupt players who wish to play for extended periods without dropping a single cent. As a result, there's no real reason not to give this one a go. This has been James with AppSpy.com. We review, you decide.